the containers running and their utilization memory utilization and cpu utilization and the names of the containers which are running you can see it from here and images docker images are like the classes in java like they are uh, in a they are not running anything like they are not using anything it's like an image or like it's a class it is not an object it is not having anything if you invoke that object then it it is having some data and you can process that data so like that only the, the images are like you, you need to create the containers first out of image and then it will do something for you so like if 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 we do the docker image you can see the images name images tag it, it is the latest tag and image id and then when it is created the size of the image you can see in this video and then if if you want to create or check the is there any object is running or container sorry is there any con docker container is running or not so then you can see you can write docker container ls so you, uh, right now there is an alpine container which is running right now and created nine months ago up about an hour and the name they they give their name because i didn't give it a name so the docker docker daemon is give the name if we, if we give the name then it will show that name itself so we can run any other containers also like that uh, so you need to type the commands docker container run and then the container name like ubuntu or if you want to give it some other name you can give it that name right now i am trying to run with simple command so docker container ls let's see is it running no it's not running because it exited docker container ls hyphen a is it showing anything so went to 31 seconds and it is exited you can see the exit 27 seconds ago it is exited the ubuntu container so we need to type like hyphen it so it it can like it will stay for long